Hey you guys, this is Eric McCarthy here of One Skin for another mo movie review for you guys. And today, I'm going to be doing my mo movie review on the new two 2015 Marvel film, and that is Ant-Man. And i got to show you something. This is the, um, this is the poster of Ant-Man. So, yep. Here, here's a good glimpse of it. Yep, and and also the other side, this is a two-sided poster board. This is actually the this is actually the teaser poster, the, but the other side has the um has the um the, the theatrical poster. So yeah, so these are all the characters from the film. So yeah, there you go with that. So anyways, this film stars Paul Rod as Scott Lang slash Ant-Man. Now, um, I saw this film on opening night, the, the night it came out, and, um, and I was really surprised at this film, so, yeah. But anyways, I'll get to, get, get to that at the end, so, let, so let's, let's get, get to the film. Scott Lang, um... The film stars Scott Lang as a um, as a um, criminal stealer, with, and he um, he does um, bad things at the beginning of the film, which you you may know know the beginning of Scott Lang's story. And here and he breaks into a a secret vault which contains the Ant-Man costume in which he was assigned to wear it. And the original Ant-Man was um, uh, Hank Pym, who was played by Michael Douglas. So he wants um, Scott to defeat... Um, to defeat Darren Cross, who it, who who would later become the the main villain, who is Yellow Jacket, in this film, and the and they have like like have some sort of fight scenes in a museum, and and then um Scott Lang, I mean Ant Man and Yellow Jacket um go into Cassie's um room which was Scott Lang's youngest daughter and uh, and they have like this battle this battle on the uh, on the train set of Thomas the Tank Engine and and they've been like throwing stuff around like throwing trains around and all that stuff and y yellow yellow jacket and I'm not going to spoil on what happened to Yellow Jacket because you're going to have to see the film for yourself because you, you may find out what's going to happen. And Scott Lang was was going to almost disappear because he, he, he was going to enter a reality where he's not going to exist. So anyways, he does return back safe and, safe and sound. And... And, you know, the film continues on, you know, on and on, and that's basically the, the story. And, by the way, there's two end credit scenes in this film, which I'm not going to spoil, because there's, there's um, one, uh, one mid credit scene, and there's also an end credit scene at the end of the credits. But, once again, I'm not going to spoil them, because... You you're gonna have to see this film film for yourselves, and there's this text saying Ant Man will return. So this will lead up to the next Marvel film in in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So that's so that's that's the movie. So what did I think of this film? I had I I had a little bit of mixed expectations and some high expectations, but this movie I thought this was gonna be gonna be like like another 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 cheap Marvel film but my ex expectations has changed it was really odd um the movie was awesome I really 
I really enjoyed it from start to finish. I thought Paul Rudd as Scott Lang slash Ant Man, he was wicked awesome. I loved I loved his character. He was really really hilarious. And the other actors, I don't know and all the rest. And also, Stan Lee makes a special cameo appearance in this movie, but I'm not gonna tell you where where he was in the movie. But you, you're just gonna have to find out for yourselves, because Stan Lee appears in every Marvel film. So yeah. Anyways, um, Darren Cross as the Yellow Jacket. Um, he was okay as a villain. He didn't have, there was not enough screen time with him as the yellow jacket in the whole film, just sort of like in the middle of the movie, so. Uh, I, th I thought that was good. And Michael Douglas as Hank Pine, he, he, did, an, he did an absolutely good job in this film as well. And also, and also a cameo appearance by... Anthony Mackie, who is known as Sam Wilson slash The Falcon, made a very brief cameo in this movie. So, yeah, that's really surprising. And, and one funny scene that I cracked up was when, um, when the ant that, that was, that was, that was, that was, that became little that became big and I can't believe they kept the giant ant as a pet that looks like a dog so yeah I thought that was wicked hilarious and another scene that that was in the trailer there was a Thomas the Tank Engine in in the in this movie and and the funniest scene that it um it grew huge and it crushed a police car I thought that was wicked hilarious so yeah. So anyways, I I really loved Ant Man. I can't wait to see it again if I have the chance to. So yep, yeah, that's gonna be my review for Ant Man. The rating I would give it is a a perfect ten out of ten stars, and the score I would give Ant Man a a perfect A plus. I had no problems with this film. It had lots of funny jokes, adult jokes, and I did love the story, by the way. And this could be my number one favorite anticipated film of the summer. So we'll see we'll see if I can make a list of my favorite summer films of 2015 soon, if I if I ever get the chance to. So anyways, that's that's gonna be my review for Ant Man. So, anyways, thanks for watching, you guys. What's your favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movie? You can make a list. You, you can choose one. It's up to you. So, anyways, don't forget to rate, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And what's your favorite Marvel? What What's your favorite Marvel hero? It could be Ant Man. It could be the others from like the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy. It could be anyone, so yeah. So thanks for watching, you guys. Don't don't forget to like this video and tell me, guys, who who your names are in the comments box if you like this video, because so, so I can know, so I can subscribe to your channels. And yeah, that's all I have to say. So, anyways, thanks, thank thank you, thank you guys for watching, and and I'll see you guys next time. So, bye for now.